we're going to uh, put a kitchen in between all these walls uh, using the new cab maker plug-in for SketchUp okay I've got a few construction lines in here um, they can be at any height it just makes it easier to work from the top if so you don't hide your construction lines and uh, what what happens here now is we're going to be adding some base cabinets and in this case we're going to or in all cases we're going to go from the uh, front left hand corner of the cabinet so what we're going to have is a st make, we're going to make a standard cabinet uh, using three drawers third drawer is going to be 384 millimeters and the width of this cabinet is set up um, no finished panels but we will skin the left side and we're going to put in a right fill filler of 50 millimeters because it's going to go up against a blind cabinet and we're going to finish the back off because it's uh, kind of like a, um, a peninsula okay here we here we go create the cabinet so right now what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the direction we want the cabinet to be built and as you can see here down down here now uh, at the at the floor level uh, you, you set up the floor height um, but he, here's your first bank of drawers finished finished back the whole bit now we're going to add in the second ca uh, cabinet and we're going to just put in a little construction line here and we're going to come out um, in this case we're coming out 600 millimeters and uh, we're going to put in a left blind cabinet it's going to the blind filler is going to be um, 50 millimeters um, so the corner for both fillers will look the same 1200 millimeters wide two doors uh, we're going to put one drawer in in the filler or, or pardon me in the blind corner and we're going to go with two shelves uh, uh, we're not going to skin anything and uh, we're not using an overhang and no filler uh, there we go and we're going to then go from this construction line this direction and we've got a cabinet that fits right in there okay uh, now what we're going to do is add another construction line for the stove uh, we'll, we'll leave 800 millimeter space and uh, then we're going to uh, build a return cabinet that goes in the wall here uh, so it's got two doors on it it's an L like an L-shaped cabinet so in we go with with a return and this one's going to be a 900 millimeter wide cabinet on the left side and the return coming out the other way will be a thousand we're going to go with um, zero drawers and two doors um, that should all be fine just the way it is here okay and uh, we're gonna we start going in the same direction now we're going to turn the corner now that we've turned the corner what we're going to do is we're going to add in a drawer bank and it'll be a 500 millimeter wide drawer bank so it's a standard uh, four drawers the all 192 and it's going to be 500 millimeters wide uh, no doors um, everything else no shelves in it goes we're going to add another cabinet with um, vertical dividers next so it's going to be very similar to the it's a standard cabinet um, just a small one one drawer one, I'm sorry one door no drawers three vertical dividers and we want the hinges on the left side for the single door uh, that should be fine um, this one here we're going to change this um, and put the uh, hinge the other way so we just have to edit it 
and change the hinge direction and now as you can see it, it, it opens up that way. Okay, we're going to now add a sink unit. And this sink unit will be 900 millimeters wide. It's going to have two doors, one false drawer front, no shelves, and that should be good. We're going to add another um, uh, tape measure. So the tape measure is going to be at 600 for a dishwasher. And beside that, we're going to make a 500 millimeter cabinet. And this cabinet here will have uh, two shelves, uh, one drawer, two doors. It's going to be a standard unit and have two shelves and be 500 wide. I'm just going with easy numbers. Okay, um, from there we're going to put in an angle cabinet. Try that one out. And it's going to be a 900 millimeter wide. And we're going to go with one door. And we're going to uh, hinge it on the right handle on the left and two shelves is fine we're good now we're going to turn the corner and put in a uh, 600 millimeter wide unit this is going to have a pull out and the door itself will pull out so it's a standard 600 wide um, one drawer, yeah, one, we'll put one drawer and one pull out. So let's set this up here as a pull out and uh, go with one shelf and one pull out. Now because it's a single door um, and not a double door uh, and because we set it up as a pull out, the pull out will get attached. And I think what we, oh, we missed uh, finishing off that side panel. That's easy to do, but here's your pullout. And you can change the height of that pullout as well in the rules. Okay, edit. And we're going to now skin the right-hand side. So just adjust it. Our lower cabinets are in. Now that we've done the lower cabinets, let's build the upper cabinets. So the upper cabinets, same idea. We're going to start from this corner. I know where it goes. Um, I know where uh, the standard heights and everything else. So instead of a base unit, it's an upper unit and it will be a standard upper unit. Now this one will be 600 wide. It will be the same height but now the depth's going to be 300 for an upper unit. And we're going to go with two shelves, no pullouts, two doors, no drawers, and we're going to finish it off on the left. No filler, but we will have a finished back in here, and it's going to come in at 600 millimeters to the side and we will then put it on here and go this direction. Okay, so now you can see that your cabinets, um, both the uppers and the lowers are in there. They both got finished um, sides and now we're going to put in a um, angled unit. So here we're going to go with an angled upper and we're going to go with one door. Um, this door now is going to be um, hinged on the on the right and um, we're going
going to uh, have no finished edges. Okay, so here, whoop, yeah, go this direction. Nope, uh, I put it in the wrong way. No, nope, that's that's wrong. Okay, so that was my mistake. We'll just do it again. It remembers all the settings. There, that's the direction we want it to go in. Ah, this one says it's got a finished back. We don't want that. Okay. Now that that's in there, we're going to go with a double upper. Um, 600 wide again, two doors, two shelves, finished right. And it'll go this direction. No, it's a standard unit, not a corner. <laughs> Shame. I could have just changed it here. I didn't have to delete it. Um, either way, doesn't really much matter. Just go to standard. Actually, let's show you how that works. Um, I'll put the angle in incorrectly. Oops. Edit it. Change it to standard. Fixed. Okay, now here's where it gets a little interesting. We're going to, um, we, we have the tops because we set the height of our, uh, at the top of our uppers uh, in the rules. And uh, then what we do here is uh, we can change the height of the cabinet. It's going to be narrower over the stove. It's a two door. It's an 800 wide. Uh, no finished and one shelf. There we go. Beside that we're going to go with um, a, a smaller or narrower cabinet but it's going to have vertical dividers. So we're going to put in three verticals for it, no shelving, uh, two door, one door. This one we want to hinge on the um, right and uh, it's a standard upper and it's going back to the this height uh, wrong width again we can just edit it in place easy enough to change done open it up there's your vertical dividers from here we're going to put in a return upper return unit and you can do blind left and right angled return doesn't any any style that you wish um, finish it on the right it's going to be a um, 600 by 600 return and two, one, no, one door, and we're going to hinge it on the left. Okay, and then there's your finished bank cabinets. Now we're going to come all the way over to here, and uh, I've got another construction line, and we're going to put in three, the final three cabinets. Uh, this one's going to be finished left, uh, 800 wide, uh, two doors, two shelves, and uh, it's a standard. Yep. Now, I'm going to have to go back and edit this one here because I don't think we put any shelves in this one. Let's see. No, she's kind of empty. So, edit. Put in two shelves. It's changed. Now it's got two shelves. Okay, we're going to go to an, um, an angled unit here for an upper. 
um, just a minute now just do I have 600 I should have 600 yep I'm good angled unit one door hinged right two shelves uh, no finishing Okay, and we're going to then put in our last upper unit. This is going to be a 900 millimeter wide unit. It'll have two doors, and we're going to add a pullout to it. You can have pullouts in the upper units as well as the lower units, and we are going to finish the right hand side. There is our kitchen. Thank you for watching. Uh, on to more features. Bye now.